Knives, mixing bowls, and the 245 service members who owned them descended upon Fort Lee, Virginia for the 42nd annual Military Culinary Arts Competition. Culinary teams competed in both individual and team events over the six days of heated competition, with participants coming from all five services and even from across the globe. Each year it's evolved more and more. Uh, we really over the past decade incorporated more of the joint services. Uh, by doing that you get the collaboration amongst the services where each can share and mentor and see how their programs are. Uh, the student chefs, you know, the more senior folks in the military and national teams all get to interact. They get mentored by these senior chefs that are here. So just the evolution of this has been incredible. In each stage of the competition, panels of expert chefs from the American Culinary Federation critique the dishes and give direct feedback to the military chefs. Not only does this give the service members a chance to improve their craft, according to the Army's Quartermaster General, it also helps improve the service members' ability to provide the best food possible to their ranks. But really when it, when, when it all ties together, what we want, whether they're coming from the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marine Corps, back to the service, we want to increase readiness so they take these skills and they'll be able to provide better services and food to their uh, service members. These individuals and these teams, they become teams of experts at Fort Carson or at Fort Campbell, wherever they go back to, they become the experts that everybody else goes to. Uh, and they also get utilized there uh, to teach others how to become better. Reporting from Fort Lee, Virginia, I'm Army Sergeant Fred Brown.